Γεια σα. This is the Greek Reporter Weekly News. Pharmacists announced on Saturday that they will continue a nationwide strike starting on Wednesday, January 26th through the 28th. This act is in protest against a government draft bill designed to liberalize the profession. Heads and pharmacist associations throughout the country took part in a meeting that decided to escalate protest action unless the government agrees to make modifications to the planned legislation. They said this has been agreed upon in talks between pharmacists and the health minister. On Friday, a Greek parliamentary committee decided to continue investigations into the dealings of more than 13 former and serving ministers in the Siemens cash for contract scandal. The committee recommended that some 13 ministers, some from the socialist government under the leadership of former Prime Minister Kostas Simitis, should be investigated in connection with the purchase of Siemens equipment by state-run telecoms company OTE at inflated prices. Other ministers under investigation include those responsible for their part in the purchase of a security system for the 2004 Athens Olympic and Arms Procurement. Several politicians, including former Greek Transport Minister Anastasios Mantelis, have already admitted to accepting bribes from the Greek branch of the German electronics and engineering giant, which wanted to secure lucrative contracts. Crete is planning for a 38 megawatt solar plant. Brightsource has been tapped to help build it. The solar manufacturer announced today that Oakland, California-based Brightsource has signed a deal with Noor Energy, which is a UK company developing a solar project to use its energy system. When complete and running at full capacity, the plant is expected to generate enough electricity for 13,000 homes. Now on to the USA. Three young, newly elected Greek-American politicians were sworn in last week in New York. Democrat Aravel Simora, member of the Democratic Party, was elected to the New York State Assembly for the 36th Assembly District in Queens. Nicole Maliotakis was newly elected as the State Assemblywoman. Mike Ganaris, member of the Democratic Party, was elected as State Senator, having served in the State Assembly for 10 years. This year's Greek Parade on Manhattan's 5th Avenue for the celebration of Greek Independence Day will be held on Sunday, March 27th. Every year, a parliamentary delegation from Greece and the Greek Presidential Guards, also known as Evzonis, attend the event. Many prominent figures from the US and Greece have been proposed for the Master of Ceremonies. These figures include Mikis Todorakis, Senator Charles Schumer, Vasilios Merkezinis, Greek-American actress Tina Fey, former CIA director George Tenet and his twin brother cardiologist Basil Tenet. In Hollywood, nine films will advance to the next round of voting in the foreign language film category for the 83rd Academy Awards. Among them is Greece's submission Dogtooth. 66 films had originally qualified in the category. The Greek film is about three teenagers perpetually confined to their parents' isolated country estate and kept under strict rule, an inscrutable scenario suggesting a world experiment in social conditioning. In Canada, Three years after stepping down as a provincial cabinet minister, Maria Bundoyanni is hitting the comeback trail for the federal liberals. Liberal leader Michael Ignatieff announced that Bundoyanni is seeking the nomination for Hamilton Mountain, targeted by the party as one of its 20 most winnable writings. Bundoyanni represented the riding for the provincial liberals from 1999 to 2007 when she stepped down to pursue other interests and spend more time with her family. The Ancaster resident says she's returning to politics for a number of mainly local reasons, including the Pan Am Stadium process. And now some interesting news from Australia. The Greeks of Australia face serious problems as the Greek Ministry of Culture, Lifelong Learning and Religious Affairs decided to recall detached teachers from Greece. Due to financial austerity measures, the Greek government has recalled almost half of the detached Greek teachers. The teachers used to work in schools for expatriate Greeks in public schools in Greek language departments, at universities and in the Ministries of Education of Australia. 34 detached teachers who work in Australia must return to Greece, according to the Ministry's decision. 
The Greeks of Australia consider this decision unacceptable and extremely offensive as there are only 45 teachers left for 45,000 students. For more news and updates, visit us at greekreporter.com. And remember, Greeks are everywhere.